Oh, got one. Got him. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Oh. I'm on another one. I'm on another one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Small mount, big small mount. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. What's up, y'all? We are in Florida today. We are, I think, somewhere east of Tampa. And I'm gonna try and get some Florida strain largemouth today. So I'm gonna get on it, we'll see how we do. There's a bunch of fish like fanning and bedding, but they're not bass. I have no idea what they are. They look like tilapia. Got one, got one, got one. Oh, yes, let's go. Okay. Dang, he's, a, he's got no business biting that swim bait. Oh, okay, here we go. First fish of the day. Dang, he's got a little cut in him, too. Got it. Got it. Look at that little guy. Probably about pound, pound and a half, somewhere around there. Smallest fish I've ever caught in a swim bait like that. All right, let's get him back in the water. There he goes. Cool. Cool, cool. That was also my first fish on the new trout swim bait, or glide bait, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I know, we don't have trout down here in Florida. This color just happens to work really nicely everywhere. Uh, it just kind of stands out, especially on these uh, sunny days. Not many clouds in the sky. Oh, it has a nice little shine to it. There we go. That should hopefully catch a big one. Come on. Good cast. Exactly where I wanted it to go. Oh, got one. Got one. Fish number two. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Gosh, he's fighting me pretty good. Oh, he got me up in, in the weeds over here. I'm going to have to go in. He wrapped me around some brush or something. <sighs> Crap. I have to get in the water after this guy. Here we go. Might be able to get him out. One eternity later. Here we go. <laughs> How did you get hooked that way, buddy? Oh. Did I? I definitely hooked him in the mouth, but I just I accidentally hooked him in the belly, too. I think he'll be okay. Yeah, he'll be okay. But yeah. About the same size as the other one. This one's probably a little bit smaller. All right, but yeah, all I did was just cast over there on that shadow line. So, like, what bass like to do is they'll sit over there in the shadow and look for bait fish swimming by on the outside because they're just trying to ambush them. There you go, buddy. Eh, kind of head first, almost. Anyway, yeah, they'll just sit out over there or they'll sit up under this uh, vegetation right here. They love to just sit under there wherever they can take cover. Clearly there's a pattern. So what I'm probably gonna do is just kind of walk around and cast up near these trees. They should just sit under there and be waiting for something to go by. Gator sitting right there. I just scared him half to death. Whew. 
scared me a little bit too. As I see a pleco. Wonder if I can catch it. Look at that. Whew. I think that's my first Florida Pleco. Just grabbed them up out of the water. Let's go. Whew. I hope the camera had a good angle on that. That was awesome. <sighs> Haven't done that since Texas. Normally I kill these guys because they're invasive, but there's so many out here, it's not gonna make a difference. Yeah, look at this. Pocosmus, suckerfish, catfish. Hey, buddy. Tear up my hands a little bit. They don't have teeth. I still don't like putting my hand near his mouth anyway. Yeah, these guys are like from South America. Kind of like peacock bass and a lot of other weird stuff in here. You got like the tilapia from other parts of the world. This is cool because I'm only like east of Tampa. I thought that normally you have to go like a lot closer to Miami to find these, but I guess not. Pretty cool. All right, buddy. There you go. Till next time. All right, time to whip the big old swim bait back out. I want to catch a giant on this thing. Crack into the, the big old Florida strains. Got one. Got him. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't come off. Don't come off. Oh, yes, sir. Let's go. Dang. Oh, he had another bait in his mouth. Awesome. I was able to get that out. That's great. Oh, come here. Come here. Fish looks to be about three pounds, maybe. Got that hook good in there. Oh, look at that. Look at that bass. Yes, sir. Good gut on her. All right, let, uh, I actually want to weigh this one. Has some good length to her. Let's go. I knew there had to be something lurking over there. I was like, there's no way there's not a bass over there that's going to reach out and grab that thing. All right, so it's about two and a half. Cool. Not bad at all. Good fish. Yeah, look, it's actually kind of skinny. Like, the belly's kind of thick, but it's not a very tall fish. It's kind of lanky. There you go. And that was also cool to help out because she had a bait stuck in her mouth, which could be why she, she might not be eating quite as much. With that swim bait stuck in there. So nice to get that that out. There she goes. There she goes. Fish looks a lot bigger in the water. I did see some bigger than her. Oh yeah, there she goes. She's are really kicking off. Cool. All right, let's get some more. Just watch him eat, just watch him eat. Ah. Watch him come up and take it. Oh. Good one, good one. Nice. Good catch, good catch. Oh man, he ripped that right off. Oh buddy, come here. Cool, look at that. About the same size as the one I just caught. This one's a little bit fatter. Slightly shorter. We're going to weigh him. He's probably about the same, I'd say. No, nope, just slightly under. 2-2. Two, two. Cool. Seems like a good average size of fish in here. 
better than all the fish I catch back home. Back home, all the ponds are just overstocked with way too many bass, so they don't ever grow. Catching a bunch of Florida strain little largemouth down here east of Tampa. Look at this guy. Sucking on the thumb. There you go. Kicking off. See you later, buddy. Y'all, that gator went back to where he... Oh, look at that. I took one step towards him. Oh, he's all... He's already out there. Cool. So we are actually in Florida because Christian is getting a new tattoo. He's actually over at the tattoo shop right now with Mary Mad, his girlfriend. I'm probably about to go bring him lunch or something. Uh, but I've been doing all the fishing, and so I'm just waiting on him to get done so he can come with me. Hey, buddy. How's it turning out? Good. Let's see. Yeah. Ooh, dang, that looks great. Holy crap, Mom's, he's almost done. Arm is sore. He says numb. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Looks like it's almost done. Just about. He's got to go up my shoulder a little bit more. He's got to add a blanket too. Okay. That's really nice. 